bunch of EU sympathizers. This is all about uh, the major of the other regions, you know, individually skilled C players that have had to jump in at the last second and showing that very skilled region. We get the drink call used onto the mid lane and everyone's here. LOA. Battle already at the mid T1 tower, but nothing to say. Pretty tanky. Even gonna pop the region now. Quinn's gonna be careful, but Shin Q point blank finds first blood. And now that gives nothing to say. The experience for the ultimate. So raiding, it was a nice attempt. Bringing the supports as soon as the puck had that ultimate advantage over the Mars. But it gives away level six. And now Alloway might be in trouble as well. Faith Beyond's already got three points in the crush. And plenty amount of damage to follow up afterwards as well. Really nice play there from Paulson as well. Oh, the arrow, the spear actually connects onto the illusion instead of himself. Will he be able to get it cleaned up? No, Polo, will he get away? One more right click, Shinq. <laughs> it's coming in. LOA is going to pop it though, and the good placement of that ward. It eventually gets dewarded, but. Nothing to just use the combo. Not enough for the black. Forced to use the arena defensively, but Quinn. Coil dropped. He's going to break it, but you are even moving over, over with the blade fury, so nothing to say. Chase down. Well, how's your war going though? We, we see that Arme is having a really good time. Your is going for a Midas. Meanwhile, Coil drop. Oh, to Titan. Sans prevents. Yeah, good stop. Nice little pick off. Yep. Totally reasonable. Oh, the thirsty bash as well. He already had that charged up. Arena gonna get dropped, but Polisson is able to drive right on by. But Quinn actually jaunted away, so that extra damage they were needing is still there thanks to the Pangolier. And around a choke point, nothing stays away for the rest of the team. But the arena drop instantly on Polisson. Arrow first for the arrows of the mark. And Polisson as well keeps his life. Now Shin Q's gonna leap forward aggressively. They're gonna be careful because Polo used to get to roll on forward, finds the clip in the stun, and Quinn's gonna try and control up the Mars here. You are moving on over. Might just attempt a quick TP out with the Omni Slash isn't enough. It is. He used it at the very last second. But why do we th think that Lelis is actually committed for the Necro 3s instead of just holding the, the level 1? I mean, I think when you're coming up against a lot of these, you know, AoE abilities, you've got the, the Mars that's going to be rebuking away, you've got the the uh, Monkey King that's going to be throwing out some Boundless Strikes just with the Battle Fury. They're going to catch up with Fangly here a little bit too deep. Yeah, that's... Yeah, a lot too deep. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, a little bit too deep is a bit of an understatement. I got no idea what the boys are doing there. They will get punished as well. I mean, you've got to punish them with a, a move like that. Is damage. You've also got the, uh, the ability to cancel out the Moonlight Shadow just with your Necrobook 3 Warrior. Coil. Stops the Echo Stomp. Mars going to drop the arena, but it doesn't matter. You are can move on full with the protection of the Magic Immunity. See them still stand their ground. Roche about a third health. How can they start? Quinn just gets a solo kill. He does drop the coil for that. Murata, what's the buff back? They don't have vision at the moment. The Ash was going to provide them that, but it looks like too low and they can't get over fast enough. Army's actually already farming, but... Big win when you're going up against the Slardar lineup as well. Arme, they, they might just drop Black Hole here. They haven't used it just yet, and they will. Black Hole going to get committed. Even Rolling Thunder, but it's all well and truly worth it. It's Arme. This big win condition here for LGD. Oh, Arena 2. LGD. I mean, they got a net worth lead, but... So the Golden Wukongs... Be across the map as they might find L away. Monkey Slaughter, even nothing to say coming over. Realizing the threat of this huge one hit potential that they've got, we're going to the A on this. Oh, Polo. Nothing to say, he's struggling on the Mars, yeah. And they're sweeping on through. Yeah, look at this. Black Hole still on cooldown for 10. They dropped the call just on the Elder Titan. Hey, gone down that he is. A okay with just the oh, battle fury in the agonist. They can bring him down with the timing. They can nothing to say. Perfect. We're struggling before being able to find the connection. Meanwhile, mid as well. Army run into Lelis, who's a little bit away from the team. Earth split up, way shy there. Okay. Been a little bit keen with that clip. Yeah, well, Shinku. Malefus allows Polo to follow up. Might be able to get some leaps off. He hasn't died just yet. Now with the rotations coming through. Tier 2, Tier 3 tower with TP's Rainbow. They're going to be careful now. They'll lose the Mirada, but nothing to say. A great arena locks in two Alloway as well. Fourth with the remnants of the Pangolier. Raiding though with this Necro 3, as you see, being able to D-Ward very effectively. But Link, Faith Beyond? 
bit of a peculiar spot here as Quinn's putting in work right now on the park. So we're going to try and jaunt on forward. Lelis, Blink, BKB available for this engagement. But again, Vision, where can you get it provided from? Bro's going to fall pretty low, and Arme's actually just going to chuck out the ultimate early. Arena, nicely oh. done. Not that it's Aish actually going to be able to bring down Poet Sun. Does he have a buyback available? He's not dead just yet, but he will still fall. Earth Splitter as well drop. So Arme's going to be able to claim the Aegis, but Faith Beyond, he finds you what? You're once fully incredibly low. Faith Beyond with the Omni Slash. No one else is going to be able to take it up. Enough to say what's a counter on forward. A nice God's Ruk along with the Spear. Jug. With that kill, going to net them the Desolator. Well, that to say. That boundless strike, Quinn's gonna get caught. No extra chain lockdown, but they might be able to bring arm. Hey, BKB on cooldown for another 10 seconds. Quinn actually jaunts forward. Quinn, <laughs> coil up in five that. seconds. They gotta be careful, die. They don't have the outpost control, so they can't TP in from Slada. But nothing to say, sweeping on over from mid to bot. He might be able to catch out the retreat here. Positioning from Quinn, you gotta be careful. They jump on for the court's gonna get broken. Actually, no, the monkey king. How is the health coming back? Arme! Healed back up thanks to the cheese! And now he stands his ground, the puck down for 60 seconds. Aloe is gonna get caught out here as that'll be two on the deck. The quick cheese from Arme. Wow, what a timing. 6,000 ahead of his counterpart in the position one. Midnight Pulse, Quinn. Can they punish here? Nice shoes to the pipe, but he's actually going to jump on forward with the Vista Blade. Ella waits. A lot of damage still. They'll lose the first life. Okay, they've got to drop everything to protect him. That they will. Uh, so we're flying through. Lelis going to try and drop the BKB, but Monkey King is out of the AOE. No, they pushed him out, and now with a work on. Oh, man, what's going on in the balance, Quinn? He's going to be careful. And it's going to get popped along with the arena, but the face shift gives him the space. They need to come back, though, but they're still protected. The Wukongs no. let some siege. There's no Yawar. And there's no damage now without him. He's got no buyback. They even find the chances. They just call it. That black hole was off the mark. And it cost Quincy Crew game one. Unfortunate. They wanted the widest range just to make sure no one could have any way of joining in onto that team. Is your favorite the gold That's one, one of the or better ones too. some of the others? Nah, there's the blue one. There's the, like the grayish blue. Whoa. LOA falls. Big first blood. Shinku running the opposite direction where Faith Beyond cannot help him. You are still going to eat up a lot of damage. Faith Beyond got two points up in the poison attack. That last right click as well. Is he going to tick? He might hear oh, the Tango region helping out. You can see Especially rotation coming down here. Paulson, he's made the move down bot. You'll see him now, though, with that Observer Ward. Yeah. Faith Beyond gets some distance. Shinku is well. Great position. You see his body blocking up, but it doesn't matter. Sam will give them some space. Trying to continue fighting though. They might get a return kill because Shin Q has got a lot of damage. Wow. Another Disarm as well. Weaver's out of mana. I mean, but Shin Q continued there. Just... Can't go too deep though. Shin Q's coming. He's... Uh oh. Nothing to say as well. No. Disarm. Laguna. Dragons. Oh. It's now leaving Arme solo though. So you're giving Timber a pretty good start, which is pretty worrying though. Because. The Lelis Timber against the Strength Hero, and yeah, Arme, he really needs help. Finally, TP coming. Out, We've got Neo up here. Lelis still can continue chasing. Nice Echo Great Stomp. Play. So, Innocence is going to be right clicking pretty heavily on Polis, and two more hits, and he's done. Yeah, why? If look at him go to work here. But even without the I that we see so often, just helping the ET smack heroes down, but. There's the Viper coming up. I don't know if they get the kill. Lelis has got Chain. Unable to TP. Now with the Chain on cooldown, there's the Echo Stomp and they're stacking him up. As Lelis will fall. That's a great rotation with the Viper coming over. Looks like they will not. Cop though, Quinn. Get the Echo Stomp and now Quinn's ultra dead. Even the Power Shot doing a lot of damage from nothing to say. That's maxed out and he's happy about getting that kill. And they're setting up on Yuwa down bot, or maybe actually protecting Shin Q. Yuwa doesn't get enough health back in. Just the ball slaps him down, the bug. That's all you need to do, slap him once, they're gone. Oh, I hear a relocate coming up towards the top side. He's going to connect through with Faith Beyond. Oh, wow. Doesn't even need to. Right clicks, thank you very much. Speed up my timings. Even, 
Try and get as many last hits as he can while he's up here. Gets so Patreon will still fall. It's just why along with Shinku's pain Galeer. So that looks actually gonna look to turn, but nothing to say he's coming over. A nice echo stomp to the last right click. Why he's got the damage and a turn to deal with LOA as well. PSG LGD looking incredibly strong. Run a wildfire. Here we go. Hey, set up. Nothing to say. He's got this observer one on the higher gun. Great position. We get back to safety. Now actually looks to turn. A great shot goes. Polisson's going to get locked in place. But Arme, he's actually moving aggressively forward. Queen of the Haze is going to be protected, but Shin Q locks him on the higher ground. As two heroes from Quincy Crew lose their life. Thinking about offering a defense to the tier 2 top because they actually want just a couple of kills here. It's Quinn, Yules, kick away, Polisson. Giving him the space, but he's still going to get chased down. They have information with the rest of Quincy crew up top, but it's a nice silence on two. Quinn actually, yeah, nothing to say. Still able to continue chasing the Lina. And they'll find Polisson as well. Quincy crew just... They're not on the same page here. I don't think it's that. I don't think you can blame them all too much. This is just some textbook Dota coming out from LGD. You know, you oftentimes would think, well, maybe they're not going to check up there with Quinn. Trying to get that little bit of extra farm, but who are they picking off here? It's Sinq this time, overstaying his welcome a little bit. To say he's got something to say about that though. LOA. Doesn't matter what hero he's on, Denok. He is just going to find farm no matter what. Aghanim's completed a great timing. And they're right next to the tier 1 tower, so oh, with the no. rotations, great the echo stop from Y. And now shinq has got the follow-up as well with the rolling thunder in the choke point. Quincy crew, this is not their game. Three will fall, 4,000 net worth lead. They even get a D ward as well. Shinq, he's got roll and blink if he wants to close the distance. There's actually nothing to say that's trying to. But they can double back now, they've got an, at least a little bit closer to their own T1 tower. Nothing to say, roll on the mark, Polisson. Point blank and up with the silence as well, but Shinq, great timing with him. They got the relocate as well coming forward from Arme. He wants to get involved in the engagement here. He was gonna be careful, you are. Oh, it's just not working here for Quincy crew. You're going into the Atos for the Viper. It could be a blink yours potentially on Pengo or even the Ag Shard. Wind Ranger Shackles, which we just see mid on Lelis. A little bit of distance. How deep do they want to go though? Arme instantly going to be able to deal with LOA. Unable to get the false promise off. Now back over to Lelis. They're able to deal with the Timber Saw. Double kill for Arme. Nothing to say. They call already. Whoa. Oh, new record. They're out of here. Oh, the Rage DC coming. Quincy well. Crew. Look at that. This bye bye. LGD. <laughs>